I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give hey, what's me up, everyone? a sign A little update about today So much better than yesterday The wind I mean, it, it, it was so nice It was crazy It was still blowing a little bit I didn't think it was that bad until we got up above the bridge and then i mean it was blowing but like it it probably was rough it just felt so smooth after the day before but i made it in 16 minutes 16 minutes what took me 50 something yesterday and i told y'all i told y'all it mattered i told y'all that the morning time mattered so we had an hour delay okay so we didn't take off till eight yesterday today we got off at seven and then it took me, you know, close to an hour to get there. Today it took me 16 minutes. So at like 7.20, I was, no, I didn't get out of there until 7.05 something. So like 7, 7.22, 7.23, I started fishing, caught one within the first five minutes. And um, I started on a different spot where I caught a, a big one in practice. Then I got back in there where I thought, I didn't really realize how good it was. I've had a, a couple bites, but I'm, I got it dialed in now. I said, I had a couple of bites even today and they missed it. And I was like, okay, I'm, and they were too close to the boat. So like I eased around and I power pulled down and I crushed them. Now I caught a lot of small ones, which is crazy, but sometimes I'd catch seven, eight, nine in a row, but I ended up catching some pretty good ones in there. Every once in a while I'd catch a good one. I'd sit there and kind of, I'd switch colors uh, I tied a different color on today just so I could do that. I think I caught, okay, yeah. I, I sat there almost till nine o'clock. I made a little circle, made a little circle around at about 8.30, came back through there and uh, maybe caught one more good one because I was just about to leave. Left there, went and fished another step, my other stretch, didn't catch anything. Went and fished where I started, caught like my second or third biggest one. I had like, I had three pushing like around four pounds. So yeah, I probably caught 30 out of this one spot. It was good, but then by like nine o'clock, it starts getting hard again. I eventually went and fished where I caught that 10 pounder in practice. I didn't hit it yesterday. And so, uh, did not get bit over there. And then this guy comes out. He only, he likes to make it hard on himself and he only caught three today. But you had three for what, almost 13? Yeah. Are you in one place behind me? I think he's one place behind me. And then, um, so I'm in 11th. I had almost 19. No, I'm in You're in 12th? Yeah. And then Blake's in what? He's in 14th or 15th, something like that. He had 16, he had 32 something. You gonna actually catch the limit tomorrow? Or are you just gonna be? Maybe if they're laying around in the sun. Did you leave any? You got left that one, but it's just that a two pounder. <laughs> huh? That one doesn't even count. <laughs> it might count. Yeah. If you had caught it today, you'd be beating me. Yeah. I lost a big one today fishing this morning. On what? Flash swimmer. I don't know how. Boom. Slack. I boated up. Got it all the way to the boat. It's like going like this. You put the net down and come off. How big? It's like a five or a six. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I have 18 then. You'd be in the top five. Mm hmm. Hmm. If I'd have just thrown that thing around this morning, I'd be in the top five because uh, he caught 13 pounds with it behind me. Are you going to go do that tomorrow? Or are you going to go? I don't know what I'm going to do. 
we're supposed to go get some sun tomorrow. I hope it's nice if it's like this. It's not going to be windy tomorrow at all, right? It's two miles an hour at uh, 7 a.m. All right. It's the only way we can compete with these boys out there live scoping. I guess. Yeah. I mean, half of my weight's two fish in this whole deal. <laughs> <laughs> Ten and a seven. <laughs> All right, let's go get something to eat. So we're leaving right now. We gotta go get some gas. We're gonna go get something to eat. So Russell's in 12th, I'm in 11th. Blake's like in top 15, I think as well. What's funny is, is they were both beating me yesterday. I'm, I'm beating them barely today, but Blake only had four yesterday and Russell only had three today. So I'm just kind of beating them just cause I figured out how to catch a limit, but they're catching big ones. Here, here's all I know. I went and looked like I told you I was going to, at like 11 or 12, maybe, no, 12.30. 12.31, I went and said, I'm just gonna go look. It, it's it's just so cold. It was the coldest morning yet. The water was the coldest, I've seen it. It was like 58 degrees when I started. It's warming up and we had sun, but then it got cloudy and, and there's a little bit of wind. It's supposed to be sunny and calm tomorrow. My deal is this. The only way I can catch a giant bag is probably to go look for some. I think I, I'm limited. To, I think I'm a little limited on how much I can catch up there. Everyone up there, there's some guys around me uh, in this tournament. None of them made the cut. One guy made the cut. I talked to him. He he left out of there with zero at like 11 o'clock and ended up with 19, but he didn't catch them there. So like no one else is catching them there. Guys just aren't catching them up there. So like the fact that I've got 15 and almost 19 out of there is saying something. Oh, I did leave one. I did what I was gonna say. I went looking for like two hours, didn't stop on a single fish until the very end, 15 minutes left. And I see two of them swimming. One of them's a big one. I say a big one, I think it, I think she's five, um, which would have probably given me 20 today if I'd have caught it. I finally got her up on the bed and I mean like 15 minutes and I, she didn't even want to look at it. And I was messing around, messing around with her, and she doesn't look. And anyways, I, I, I hopped at one time. I just saw her, like, and, and I had to get so far away from her. I just saw, like, just a little bit of a mouth open. I set the hook. And uh, pinchers were gone. So I was like, oh, she did bite. And I literally got to make, I didn't even make another cast because it messed up my bait. And I looked down, I was about 10 minutes from takeoff and it, I had 13 minutes to go. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to risk it with what I have. She bit, she bit that last time. She bit my pinchers off. You get them Maybe she's not gone. And so, um, yeah. So I do have that one. I at least have that one that she may or may not be there tomorrow. And then I'm just gonna start where she is and then keep going and looking. I'm gonna go up there and fish for as long as I can. But once I, I have that feeling, you know, maybe that intuition that apparently live scopers don't have <laughs> from what everyone says. Um, if I get that, I'm out. I'm out. Because, like, I'm looking at it like this. Maybe I could catch one or two pounds more if I stayed up there and fished. Right? But so I move up a place or two if that happens, like, depending on what I have. I'm just going to go. It's the final day. I can't really fall that much. I'm like, man, shoot, I might catch a giant bag if I just go and try to do that, try to catch one or two. Maybe I find an eight or 10 pounder on a bed. You know? So that's my plan tomorrow. Um, it's crazy. I, if you'd, have, I'd have lost a whole bunch of money if you'd have said, "Hey, man, you're in eleventh place. It's March. It's it's late March on Toledo Bend, and it's clear, and I haven't weighed a single fish in on a bed. I hadn't even caught one off of a bed, much less weighed one in. But I have, I have caught all my fish. All right, so I'm redoing some of this because. I don't know, I've had all kinds of problems with my camera today. 
it shut off 10 different times I kept having to keep restarting it and it repairs the file but I never know how far back it repairs it so sometimes it might cut off the last minute so and they're all calling me because I'm late I'm late getting to the barbecue restaurant everyone's waiting on me so I had to leave Waited. and I'm in 11th place and I have not weighed in a single fish on a bed in fact I haven't even caught a fish off of bed. I'm telling you right now, if you'd have, if you'd have bet me that, every I would have lost. I would have lost a lot of money because I'd have bet anybody that I'm like, oh, I'll at least have one. I did. I mean, shoot, I probably have all ten. I have none. None. I've caught all my fish off of one bait. One bait, and it's over there knocking. Boom, 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 boom. It's knocking. I got it though. I got. I, I at least got that thing dialed in. I did loop. I messed one up today. I think I caught so many fish on it today. It messed up. And then I broke. I broke one off on a stump. But I got some more. I got some old school ones though. They're a little bit different. Well, now they're they're the same. It just faded a little bit. All right. About to go and freaking tear up some barbecue, some ribs. I'm getting ribs today. Wish me luck, guys. Tomorrow, top 25. Probably weigh in at 3 o'clock. Probably don't have a chance to win. But at least, at least try to maybe sneak up in that top 10, maybe a top 5. I, I got to go catch me like a 25 to 30 pound bag. That's my goal. See if I can do that. I think if I can do that, I can pop a top, top 5. All right.